2,990 pounds, the J-Flight 195 landing here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a great little camper if what you're looking for is just like a little singles or couples weekend run around getaway. It gives us excellent dry storage and a fantastic front walk around bed, which is always a preferable feature. All wrapped up into something that has the industry's best warranty, tires, and a whole lot of other great qualities here. It is now roof solar prepped. They are now six and a half foot tall inside instead of six one. Um, it is a little bit shy on fridge storage space as compared to something like a Wolf Pup or a Wildwood, for instance, here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. But it does, again, come back with that uh, greater dry storage capacity as a result. So it's kind of a push-pull sort of thing. Um, in terms of towability, at 2,990 pounds, a very heavy towing minivan might be able to take this thing home. It is at the upper ranges of even the higher tow rating minivans. But uh, almost any tow package kind of SUV can handle this. And if you're not sure what your vehicle can handle in return for the fair opportunity to earn your business, we are always happy to take a look at that and put safety before the sale at Halet RV. And one of the other major qualities I want to hit on here right away is the fact that these are now a little bit bigger than they used to be. They're not longer, they're not wider, they're taller. J Flight SLX 7 foot wide campers used to be only 6'1 tall. It was very tight for a person like me. I did always have to have my head cranked in these a little bit, but logically that never bothered me because i was never in a small camper with the idea of spending a ton of time in here this is more of a function space than a living space in my view now people will sometimes look at a 14 foot camper and say oh man i could full time in that awesome everybody camps different everybody lives different that's why i love all these different rvs but by going six and a half foot tall now which is a industry standard sidewall height they have made it so that Pretty much anybody, unless you're super, super tall, taller than me, can walk around these absolutely unimpeded. Now, this model is and has been our most popular couples camping little J Flight SLX, I think, because of this right here. This walk around front queen bed with those nice side stands that are very CPAP friendly with outlets and cross breeze windows. There is storage below the bed. You can see there's hanging storage on either side above the bed. Shelf up there if you want to put some cube organizers. There's a lot of good things that you can do with this. Quick note on the air conditioning while we're over here. This is an 8,000 BTU side mount air. Now these do offer a 13,500 BTU roof air, but that does increase the weight, the cost, and the overall height of the RV, which is one of the nice things about these SLX J flights. With no roof AC and a plenty sufficient side mount air, they keep you cool without being too tall. Like they, they can fit into a lot of garages that uh, other campers with a bigger roof air just generally simply could not. Now the RV is easy to clean with no slides. There's no need for any carpet. So it's always, uh, you know, a, a simple thing. Just sweep it out, swiffer up, roll hide. And, uh... <laughs> Oh gosh, what else? Let's see here. Well, we're going to see the dinette and sleeper mode in just a minute. But one of the other nice things about this one is, yeah, it's a couple's camper or single's camper with that easy front walk around bed. But if we take note, we also do have this handy uh, privacy curtain here. So if you want to close that down, you can. If nothing else, even if you're, you don't have a guest on the dinette, it is just a nice way to have a little privacy if you want to change some clothes and the bathroom's occupied, you know. Now, once again, back to that housekeeping note. You notice I've left the side windows open, but the front shade drawn. First of all, that's so you can see that there are blackout shades on all these. But remember, the, at the time of this filming, we have just received note from Jayco that the supplier of their front windows is no longer offering that window. So they are currently working on an alternative source. But in the meantime... These things will be produced with no front window, but you'll maintain all the other windows. So I have that kind of drawn so that you sort of get the idea that the window's there now. It might come back later. It might not. I don't have details on that yet. Check our website to see what we have in stock, how it is built, because our pictures will reflect the active current status of the camper. And please call our team to make sure the one we have in stock is exactly what you're looking for, because I run our website too. 
And I've made mistakes, so please always double check me as well. I hope you appreciate the information and transparency. A lot of people I don't think would even tell you about something like that. Now, for entertainment purposes, we'll see them more uh, in a minute, but your TV hookups would be over here. Now, this RV is a wood studded wall, so roughly every 16 inches on center, there's a place you could put a TV bracket. Um, if you are so inclined, you know, this is what the TV would talk to over here. This is our stereo Bluetooth unit. You can add, you can see a, uh, a HDMI plug for like Roku sticks, Fire Sticks, etc. I think a lot of people though are looking at a little camper like this, not as an entertainment machine, but just as a place I can sleep, eat, use the bathroom, go outside and have a good time. Now, speaking of outside, this thing's got awesome campsite window coverage. You've got a pair of these big windows overlooking your site, not the neighbors, which is a nice touch, I think. One other really cool note, which is an outstanding quality in this class, like the warranty, the tires, this right here. This has got several best-in-class qualities, such as standard factory roof solar prep. And they do offer a factory solar option, but if you want to kind of build your own after the fact, um, and here in the Midwest, not everybody dry camps. Frankly, most people park camp. So just being solar prepped, is plenty enough for a lot of people around here. But it also means that no matter where you live, you could build this thing to be able to uh, receive the kind of power setup you're looking for. We also offer portable generators here. So if you know you do want to get off grid for a long, long time and want to be able to run things like the air conditioner, we have the equipment here we can supply for you to take care of that. Now over here by the dining area, note that below the dining table, there's that little wooden hump. That's actually your wheel well just so that you understand what that is. And above that's a little black rectangle set of power outlets, which is a perfect place for them. Great place for phone chargers. I've seen some people will put a little coffee maker on the table right there just to free up their kitchen counter space, which I think makes a lot of sense, you know. Um, now, I mentioned that this is a couple's camper with some guest capacity. If we take a look here, I can fold that dinette down and you can see a little bit of what I'm talking about. This is not the world's largest sleeper. Frankly, it's fit for a big dog or a little kid. Um, and that's about all you're going to get into it, I think. But it's there. You know, it, it can serve the purpose. Now, I will tell you, folks, I have asked manufacturers till I am blue in the face. Can you please start offering a camper like this with something like a sofa and a floating table right here? I've tried to custom order them that way, and they won't do it for me right now just because their production teams are so, so overwhelmed. So what I need is help me help you. Do you like that idea? Would you like to see something other than just a dinette available right here? I would love to see something like a uh, 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 just a, even a simple jackknife sleeper sofa right here. Um, if you agree with me, do me a favor, leave me a comment. If you think that's the worst idea ever, well, leave us a note on that too. Maybe I'm wrong. It's just, I'm always trying to see like what is different on these, what could be different, and uh, how could it be done. Now, we, we kind of got a little peek at the storage up here. You saw the storage below the dinette when I was on my tangent right there. What we haven't seen right now, and you're getting a peek of it, is that closet storage space over there. Um, however, I actually want to start looking at the storage over here in the kitchen space because when we start talking about storage, I feel like this is the area where it kind of matters the most. And I think I actually want to start with it right down here. You'll see the J Flight has opted to stick with the uh, classic two way smaller refrigerator. It's a smaller RV. Not everybody needs the same size refrigerator as a fifth wheel in a little RV. Don't get me wrong, I like more fridge space whenever I can get it. But in a space like this, a small camper, everything is a very obvious push-pull. Now, this does have a little freezer pocket in there. It is gas and electric, so it's great for off-grid camping, which these little RVs are very often used for. You see here, I like how they finish this off inside here. Like, it doesn't look very raw inside there. Space for a wastebasket, shelf below the sink, very efficient. Now, to the left of that, on top, we have our furnace, and then below that's our converter panel. Um, before we get too far along, though, I want to look at these sealed edge press mem uh, membrane countertops. So if you do splash water on that sink, it's not going to seep into anything. And on this wall, we have some easy reach appliance outlets, as well as our TV hookups and our monitor panel. And one of the cool qualities I want to point out on this, and J-Flight is not alone in this, but not every little camper uh, brand does it. 
The left panel that we're looking at is our control panel where you can see like your, your water levels and stuff like that. But it, you might also notice it has three red switches. One is for the water pump, but then two are for the water heater because this is gas and electric, auto ignition and fast recharge. Some other little trailers like uh, a uh, wolf pup here at Halo RV does the same thing. Um, but not all of them do. Now you have the same pocket screwed cabinet construction here that you would have in, uh, say, like a bigger J Flight, or frankly, even up to a North Point fifth wheel. Um, but this right here. This has a smaller fridge than something like a Wolf Pup, but it has more dry storage as well. You're gaining this big pantry space over here that other brands with bigger refrigerators don't have, and that's the trick. Everything is a push and a pull. Now, this floor plan specifically also benefits from this massive rear closet back here. Massive being comparative. Is it the size of the closet in a Jayco Pinnacle fifth wheel? No. But considering this is a single axle little camper, this thing has more dry storage than just about any other little trailer I think you can find. Now as we pass our way back to the bathroom, you see that there is that skylight above. That also does open for a vent, just like you'll see in the bathroom area. And this was one of the first series of little single axle trailers that really popularized the what's called dry bath, where the toilet and the shower are not the same thing like a wet bath. Separate toilet with a foot flush. Um, is this the biggest camper ever? Does it have the most legroom ever? No, but it's enough for somebody like me. And thankfully, with the recently revised six and a half foot sidewall height, that means that using the skylight, somebody like me can stand actually in this shower. I need my head in the bubble, but considering I spend a couple minutes here and all the rest of my time outside, I'm okay with that. And it still comes in at less than 3,000 pounds. Up front here, you can see a large front storage compartment. You might be wondering, why doesn't it pass all the way through? And the short answer is because there's a water heater and other stuff in the way of that front corner over there. And that's just one of those things that they had to do on this little floor plan. There just wasn't quite enough room to be able to put the water heater somewhere else. So they had to use a little bit of the underbed space. The good news is it still works plenty fine. These are seven foot wide, which means they're easy to see around. They're not quite as uh, intimidating behind your vehicle. That being said, folks, Again, safety before the sale is something that we really believe at Halet RV. I, I, I really highly recommend always getting things like towing extension mirrors. And I recommend that that's true whether you buy from us or not. That's just don't skimp on safety stuff. Um, now, if you've got like a bigger half ton truck, you might not need load leveling anti-sway hitching on a little trailer like this. But I can tell you, you would never regret it. And run yourselves through this mental exercise. Would I regret having the extra stability and, uh, uh, and safety of a uh, anti-sway hitch. And would I regret maybe not having that? And usually when you say it like that, it kind of makes a lot of sense. Now up front here, it, this is a simple series trailer, so it's not like it's really heavily loaded, but it does have that little wheel on the tongue jack so that if you do want to be able to hand push this around on like flat concrete, get it into a garage, you can very easily. There's also some really sharp qualities here. You don't find all the time in little trailers like this. Like you see the windows are very heavily tinted. That's only about a 50-50 feature you find on these little trailers, like Catalina's do it, but you have to go up to like a, uh, a black black label wolf pup to get something like that. Uh, whereas, you know, the tinted windows, they might not let quite as much light inside the RV. I don't think anybody felt it was dark in there when we were doing our interior tour by any, by any stretch of the imagination, but it does help keep some sunshine out of there. Now this has best in class Goodyear endurance radials rated for 87 miles per hour. I don't ever want you towing that fast. We mentioned the water heater inside, how it is still a six gallon vessel, but instead of gas only, it is gas and electric and auto ignition and fast recharge. And what that means in English is you have anywhere from, uh, well, basically up to 17.8 gallons of hot water recharge per hour. That's stellar. That's, that's fantastic. Wolf Pup does the same thing, um, but not every camper in this class does. And I keep throwing some Wolf Pup comparisons out there because that's a very common uh, thing that you'll find sitting next to this here at Halet RV. And they both do things very well. They just do them a little different. One thing this does that nobody else does, mostly because Jayco kind of owns the rights to this, is the J Smart Lighting System. Stands for Signals, Markers, and Reverse Travel. You see those double upper clearance lights in the top corners? 
Uh, this has extra clearance lights up there, and then when you shift on your uh, turn signal, instead of just the tail light blinking, the tail light, the upper light, uh, and all associated side marker lights will blink along with that tail light to give other drivers on the road a better, clearer understanding of what you're doing. You can walk on this roof. That is another thing that not all single axle little campers offer. All single, actually, every single uh, travel trailer, fifth wheel, whatever that we offer here at Halet RV, they all have walkable uh, roofing. So that is never a question you need to ask our team here at Halet RV, uh, with the exception of specific uh, limited used RVs. Spare tire on the back there with a slip cover. Hopefully you never need to worry about that. Now the awning is power and it does have LED lighting and you don't see outside speakers, but mounted into the heads of the awning arms, you will find the speakers. Uh, that way when your awning is open, which logically is when you're going to probably be listening to most outside music, then the speakers are pointed down toward the ground instead of blowing the neighbors away. Now here's a little pro tip for you from your Uncle Josh. Uh, this does have inside outside uh, speaker options, so if you do want to be cranking the music up and the awnings closed but you don't want to blow the neighbor away, if you want to, you can uh, turn those uh, outside speakers off. Uh, lights on the outside of the RV and noise at night are actually the number one and number two complaints at campgrounds. So there's a little interesting statistical fact for you. If you appreciate the info that you're getting here, definitely hit that subscribe button and follow along to us. And please consider bringing your business to our family's uh, operated facility here. Family owned and operated since 1989. I am the uh, SOB, the son of the boss. <laughs> our vice president is another son of the boss. We've had lots of family members working here over the years. We are truly a family owned and operated outfit and we would love the opportunity to work with you and your family. So whether you need hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, everything between, the only thing we don't do is hidden dealer fees. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.